Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Well, it's the middle of a week. And of course, a good way to start your day is to exercise. Now, the problem is that a lot of people have not been exercising because of the heat. Because when you wake up, the normal exercise that you said that would bring heat, there's already heat before. So how do you want to start to exercise? But well, in spite of all that happens, find a way to move around. At least when you get to work, don't be in a sedentary position. All right, so MM and, of course, um, Danny are here with me. And I, I saw this yesterday. I, I, first of all, I didn't even know that Rita Dominic quit acting, per se. Mm. Because, um, she, uh, well, I don't know, I do... Uh, okay, well, we know, we know, and all, but I, 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 I didn't notice. You didn't notice. see that quitting. You thought yeah, it was just taking a quitting. break. I didn't even know it was taking a break because, you know, there are sometimes, there are some, uh, they, they, you know, some of these A-list mm, actresses, actor, they, they uh, choose yeah. many projects they do. They mm -hmm. know they're not yeah, in so many projects, right. projects like that. And then somebody just after a while is the person. Mm. So, you know, but then she was at an event or something. Yeah. And, um, this uh, was posted. It, it cut away from the event. And she said something that many of us didn't know. And she said that she quit acting because she fell out with some friends turned family or friends who she taught were family. She fell out with them and the environment wasn't conducive again. So, you know, I have probably those some people that, you know, they have some level of, of influence in that particular sphere and said she had to go to the UK to, you know, uh, detox from the environment, as it were. And she had to resort to caregiving mm -hmm. to fend for herself. And she said that was not a problem because she had cared for her parents and she loves caring for people. Mm. And then people go, oh, you know, a lot of comments about, oh, she had to, as if caregiving, is as a, it were, is, is, is condescending. It is, yeah. And this is off, this is off, I, you guys, this is off, I don't know if you saw uh, an interview with Ted Face, Femi Brainard, yeah, uh, Femi Brainard, who spoke about how he went to the US and had to drive, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, he yeah, had yeah. to do a, a ride he here, taxes. a ride share okay. to survive. And it seemed, and many people just go as if, is there no longer dignity in labor? Mm. That's where I want to come from. That's where I want to come from because everybody just feels that, oh, uh, okay, Rita, don't be going to do caregiving. Ah, he said, uh, that's a very major step down. Oh, uh, Femi went to do uh, e healing. Mm. Ah, Femi, you know, it, uh, that's one angle, yeah, but. With, with, with all of this, for me, it was, it was a shocking revelation. But she said she did it not just about be, being fending for herself, but mm. it's something that she loves to do. She loves to do. How did that make you feel? I mean, thinking about all of that. Is, that, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it condescending, as it were, for a celebrity to go and look for a job or do something when uh, I've not been in the limelight, as it were? Because there were a lot of comments on different angles from different places and all that. But for me, man, I... That's why I want to start from self. Kudos, man. Rita, my respect for you. Shh. Stepped up a notch. Okay, I, I saw the video yesterday, and um, to, to be honest, it sort of warmed my heart. Okay. Um, yeah, it it so it actually warmed my heart, and it's not because of um, what she had to do when she travelled or when she took that break, you know, from acting. It's you know um, bearing that part of herself with the world. Mm. You know, people in this climb didn't know what happened until she shared that part of her. And I'm sure it must have taken so much from her for her to have shared it because of people's perception, right? And let's not also True. forget that True. the celebrity, hmm, the word celebrity, you know, sometimes I feel like it's all in our heads. What is or who is a celebrity? Somebody who's celebrated. Yeah, someone who's Very celebrated um, in a certain... Um, field or industry, right? Oh, yeah, level of influence. Or yeah, who also wields some level of in influence and in some cases is seen as a role model. Um, I think there are so many lessons to take yeah, from her story. From this, yeah. yeah, and um, I think that's what we should dwell on, not what she did when she was. Yeah, but away you know, from you know, why I even want to because she spoke about she actually spoke about what she did because she said there's nothing bigger than caring for humans. And mm. for me, I tell people, look, after God, number two, now doctors, care for human beings for me is yeah. top tier there. So yeah. she actually majored on that because mm. she, it's, 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 it's for those who are passionate about it. I remember when the yeah. caregiver came here, mm. the passion with which she was talking, 
it's it's a higher calling. You're not mm. you're, at times it's not even about uh, the money might be good, yeah. you know, but then it's about caring for your fellow human beings, and that's the big one there for yes. me. And, you know, it, it made me ask if something happened mm. and you have to leave what you're doing, what you're earning, and all that. Mm. What can you? What would you fall back on? What, what is that thing that you would do? Yeah, I, I don't go okay. again. What's that thing that you would do that maybe people might feel might be condescend, but maybe a handwork or something that you could do and you you'll be fine doing it. Let's not also forget that caregivers earn so much outside of this country. Mm, mm, they mm, earn mm. a lot of monies yeah. because of all because of the the, the the level of or the, the capacity at which they need to you know they function, to function in yeah. that level. It, they earn a lot of money, so it's not a small. So I can imagine how much you would have even earned in maybe a month because, yeah, <laughs> compared because to how much people, you would have earned. You are taking you know, care of a poor actor they're, here. They are probably retired, so mm -hmm. they have their. A pension, their savings exactly, there, and they want you to take exactly, them to the bar, they enter all of that. So, you know, you, you're getting a lot of money. well compensated for, yeah. for, for, for doing one of the yeah. best jobs on earth, <laughs> even though it's kind of very hard. It because is. she actually mentioned and put in did that it was caregiving. Like, yes, you know, when she I emphasized care went, on it. Exactly. When <laughs> um, this person almost can do nothing for yeah, themselves. Yeah. So, you, you basically have to almost do She even used the word incontinent. That's to further emphasize, you know, the state's at which you know some of those older people are mm -hmm. at, you know, are in basically. So yeah, it so what was. Is it? What, what would you do? I mean, if you make hair or something, what would you do? Do you already make clothes now? What do you mean? Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I you just that. continue making clothes. I think it's just in Nigeria, right, that we put um, some value, or rather, we we overemphasize certain roles, right? Here, I mean, everyone in the in the professional field, in career strata, right? They want to always like level up, level up. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, it's in Nigeria that we literally will take position, right? And title over things that really matter, like even earning more, mm. right? You see someone who would rather sit down in Nigeria and be bank manager. As a celebrity, we're talking about how much caregivers actually earn over there. They actually earn more than the they, celebrities. Yes, over here. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? <laughs> Most of these celebrities, what if we give them maybe like that kind of money? Maybe it's like influencing for like major companies here and all of that. But the other ones that are literally creating the facade and living a certain type of lifestyle, exactly. we They're all not know that, that it's not based mm -hmm. on the work mm -hmm. of maybe acting mm -hmm. and all of that. Because really, how much does how Nigerian much acting? Mm -hmm. well, how much does he really pay? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Well, so, and I feel when it comes to, now. and that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying now, influencing now for like yeah. major um, gigs brands. and brands and all of that. And then I also feel that beyond even finances, right? So here as well, we put a lot of value on how we look, what we own, and all those kind of things. Forgetting the humanity of it all. Mm. What is that actual thing you do that brings you fulfillment? Filment. And whether you like it or not, even like generally, they tell you mm. when you're feeling down, compliment somebody. Mm. It's actually that service to another person that actually has the, 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 the effect of giving you that honest fulfillment do you understand that's, that's why even when we that's satisfaction even yeah. when like we see like the billionaires mm -hmm. most of the time they probably give like half of their wealth to charity mm. and like do that's things that are that's honestly where, where yeah. you find real fulfillment so and we need not, to start thinking about mm -hmm. things and then when it comes to caregiving where, the way she spoke about it right the mm -hmm. gravity of it yeah when we think about it it's not everyone that has a heart it's not that's true. why she says she loves it do you understand it's not, it's not everybody that can stand it whether I like it or not, it's right? Not. So I, I, have I the mean, heart, but I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to take care to of people because because I someday, this. because someday, yeah. uh, it's it's a blessing to get old. So someday mm -hmm. you, everybody will always be yeah. there. Of course, I was watching this movie Oppenheimer, and then I, you know, I I looked at it and I'm like, look, you're 13 today. Tomorrow you'll be mm -hmm. 31. Next tomorrow you'll be 70. Yeah. But you, but she said to him, what would you do if you had to something hand? What would you do? Something handy. What will I? I don't know. If you had, to, if you were not. Doing all of this, the glam and all that was not yeah. there. What would you do? What would you fall back on? Uh, even now, I teach. I that is something that. That I actually enjoy. I love doing. that. I want to be. Mm. I want to be, and that is why. That's probably the only reason why I want to further education, just to be able to bequeath teach and impart and knowledge. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. What That's are your down. thoughts? Let's know what you think. Hit us up, TVC Entertainment underscore. Let's know your thoughts on Richard Dominic. For me, I would say there is dignity in labor. Yeah, whatever regardless you're of doing, what you're doing. If you're not stealing, mm -hmm. if you're not yes, doing something wrong, Honest, no matter what it is, labor, yeah. dignity in labor. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a time out. Stay with us. We'll be back in a bit.